Hey y'all, World of Wheels, Birmingham, 2017, and I got a 1978 Firebird. And it's not a crazy custom at all, but it is an exact replica of Jimmy Rockford's from the Rockford Files. And the folks at Build are big fans of it, and they wanted to build a car exactly like the one that he drove all the way down to the microphone jacks on the interior. So I thought y'all enjoy seeing it. Let me get the camera turned around, and we'll take a quick look at it. Donna, thanks so much for uh, giving me time to look at your car. Oh, you're welcome. Tell me a little bit about it. It's a 1978 Pontiac Firebird Esprit, and it's a, a replica of the Firebird used in the Rockford Files TV show back for season five and season six. What condition was it in when you got it? Well, I bought it in Air from Arizona. It came from Arizona, so it didn't have a lot of rust, but it was maroon, and it had cloth seats, and uh, my husband and I did a complete frame-off restoration. Changed out the interior to where it was camel tan, just like on the show. And when we finished everything we could do, we sent it to Impatient Creations in Alabaster, and they did the paint for us. How long y'all been married? Uh, 14 years. 14 years. How'd mm -hmm. you find another Rockford fan like that? That happened after we got married. You found um, out? Yeah, we, we were just watching TV one night, watching the Rockford Files that came on, and I told him I always wanted to have one of those cars. I mean, Jim Rockford is a cool, slick guy, and he drove a cool, slick car. All right. And he said, well, find one. So that took a week or two. It took a little while finding one on the internet and we got it and it went from there and this is the finished product. Girl, it is a very, very clean car. And I think you knocked it out of park on that replica. I think it's exactly. And you right. say when you got it, it was velour interior. It was, it was um, very worn out velour interior. It was the right color, but it was just old and worn out. And the car on the show had uh, vinyl interior so we had to swap that out we got to be careful because it's not leather is it It was vinyl interior it's back vinyl then. man but it's still very nice in here and i see there you got uh the jacks i guess what are those jacks for there uh, it's it's called a mic bay and on the show they had the the those jacks mounted in the console and that's where the microphones plugged into when the actors were driving in the car and talking and they also had a sound car on the show that had microphones mounted all around the car where you could hear the, the sounds of traffic and, and traffic noise as they're driving, filming the show. Oh, okay, so that's where you get when he was accelerating and all that kind of stuff too. Mm -hmm. You get those kind of sounds. Mm -hmm. Wow, you learned a lot about the show while doing the project, I guess. I knew a lot beforehand, but yeah. I learned a whole lot getting into this car that I didn't realize. I have a, a Chevy 350 in it um, on the show each car had a Pontiac 400 engine, and that's, you know, the car's still a work in project, a work in progress here, and we hadn't been able to put a 400 in it yet, but that's coming, and then it will be the exact replica. So, it is. no, cool. Well, that shouldn't be hard to do. I, I, I would have a hard time not putting an LS in it, but I know you're trying <laughs> to, <laughs> I know you're trying to replicate the car. That's probably the way to go. It was difficult for me to, to stay on the straight line of what we were doing. I, I had a lot of ideas of what I wanted to do, but I, my main goal was to make it a replica, so I had to stick to that. I guess you're right. I could see where you would get involved in a project like this, and then some of the things you really liked, right? To overcast the car, you really wanted, but then you were like, right. this would be cool to do this or that, and you can't because right. you're trying to do an exact replica of I it. I ran into that every day I did something on the car. I, I had to remind myself to stick with the plan, or I would have, it would have gone way custom. And you and your husband did all the work on it, except for the paint and body. We did. So there you go, from World of Wheels, Birmingham, 2017, a 1978 Firebird Esprit, Jimmy Rockford edition. You gotta love that. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya!